in public school kindergartens and added to the state park system. After leaving office in 1977, Hulsthauser moved to Southern Pine and returned to practicing law. He also served 16 years on the UNC system board. Plans to be unveiled by the Pentagon about combat roles for women. CBS is David Morgan. The issue is not can a woman make it through the training, but can enough women complete the training to make it practical to undertake all the other changes that you have to take when you open a unit to women. Chrysler is expected to file papers today with the federal government explaining why it's refusing to recall some 2.7 million older model cheap SUVs that are at risk of catching fire. More from reporter Jeff Gilbert. Chrysler's data will need to sway the head of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, who has said he believes there is a problem with the Jeeps. Chrysler says they're no more likely to catch fire than any other vehicle. The next step could be a hearing to determine whether Chrysler should be forced to recall the vehicles. You're listening to NC News. Your heart is beating really fast. It's beating. So fast, you think something's wrong. You feel like your head is about to explode. You feel like you need a doctor. What do you do? You call the tax doctor. If with the IRS or making you stick to your stomach. Let the tax doctor help you. The tax doctor can help solve your problems by negotiating with the IRS on your behalf. They save their clients money, offering immediate payment relief. Plus, Stopping any bank levies or seizures. Call the tax doctor right now and see why we have a 95% satisfaction rating with our, our customers. The consultation is confidential and free. 800 603 
we get a kitchen you can walk, walk through without turning sideways. Family room? My project room. A house and a mortgage that fit us. Bankers who listen, mortgages that fit. That, that's what makes Shelby Savings Bank better. An equal housing lender. Member FDIC. Thinking about a new carpet or floor covering for your home? Then think about Florida America in Kings Mountain or Carpet One Interiors in Gastonia. Either one is just a short drive away. You'll find name brand floor covering at great prices with expert installation. Come in and check out the savings today. Florida America, 602 Slater Street in Kings Mountain, and Carpet One Interior, 2759 East Ozark Avenue in Gastonia. There's a store near you. These are the titans of two pan. Gladiators of the backyard. We salute you. Ingles, the official sponsor of backyard football. This week, Ingles Family Packs Tyson Fresh Bone and Split Chicken Breast, 98 cents a pound. Strawberries two for five dollars. Select pop secret popcorn two for five dollars. And select Oscar Mayer deli lunch meats three for ten dollars with your Ingles Advantage card. schedules 
ourselves out, but uh, you uh, uh, as a company are the uh, uh, title sponsor of our very, very popular swap shop, the United Country Gates Realty and Auction Swap Shop. We appreciate that very, very much. It's a good program. Has uh, a pretty good DJ in the mornings. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah uh, he'll do. And, and he'll do. He'll do. Yeah. Or, 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 and, uh, and Milton Becker's on too. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're we're glad to sponsor that. That's a, that's a great program and a, and a good. For the community, and um, you know, I've called in a couple of times on the shop and sold some of my stuff, and so it, it really worked. We're, we're glad to be a part of it. And it. It's fun to listen to and listen to you interact with the mm -hmm. you know, with the people that call in. So we we have a good time listening to it, and there's very few community programs that have the connection that you do with, with the swap shop, you know, for the people who love you, know, but they just do. Well, thank you. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> there, there are, there are, there are those times. Uh, 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 every time and then. Well, tell us, uh, uh, all the Big news going on at United Country. Uh, Cindy has come back and joined the uh, staff with, with you there. And, and what's that taking place at uh, United Country Gates Realty and Auction? Uh, a lot. Um, Cindy joined us yesterday. It was her first day. Um, back with us. Uh, so she's going to take over our operations and day-to-day uh, -day operations and help us with our marketing. Uh, United Country is all about marketing, real estate, and auctions, um, livestock properties. So um, Cindy Worked in the office for about five years. A little bit more microphone. A little shorter. I was going to let you hold that mic a little closer to you, but the cord won't reach. So you just do what you want to do. Do what you can. I'm always a little shorter. I'm only, uh, you know, five foot seven now. Yes, join us back and uh, you know, with this for uh, about six years, and uh, she took another job for a while and um, decided that coming back and supporting the company and and being part of the family business was was where she needed to be, and so she joined us. And she started back yesterday. She does a great, great job. So it's just like, you know, riding a bicycle, you know, you just fall off one time. You, it's easy to get back on and learn again, you know. So mm -hmm. she joined us yesterday. And um, uh, business is good. good. Uh, I have to say, the good, good Lord blesses us. And, and Business is good, and I've got a wonderful agent like Sue uh, Bobo that's not here. I'm, I'm sorry, I said Sue. I meant Madeline Greg. Madeline Greg is our number one agent, and Sue was supposed to be here today, but she is out uh, working on a property. And okay. We're, we're very busy, so. Uh, 
business has increased and um, rates stayed steadily low. Mm -hmm. But they're starting to increase. I know that Madeline and I talked um, you know, a couple of weeks ago about you know, we need to let people know that the rates are going up a little bit. And now is a good time to buy. All right. I know Cindy's a little under the weather. Also, a uh, case of laryngitis, it sounds like Cindy. So maybe you don't want to say uh, too much here today, but uh, anything you want to say? <laughs> no, it's just good to be back where I think I should be and help company and um, making this all work and be the best real estate company that we can be. All right. Um, Sandy, do you have any questions or is anything you'd like to say to uh, Well, Robert mentioned the, uh, the swap shop. I tell you, I'm I will say this email nine minutes to this work. But when, when he answers the phone, he calls them by their name. Mm -hmm. And they, that says something to me. LD. I mean, uh, Bobby. Uh, you know, and that, that as a community, that that means something to hear your name mm -hmm. said and what you are wanting to sell is important. We were talking about those cast iron pans a while ago. And uh, just, just anything goes. You know, just anything that, that and I think that people in the community really enjoy and we appreciate you sponsoring this so much. It's fun. I mean, we've, we've done it before in the past mm -hmm. and Milton and I have done, done a lot of advertising in the past and, you know, from, from a business standpoint and, and and you know, where you allocate your your marketing funds is important. Where you mm -hmm. feel like you'll get the, the best bang for your buck. That's right. And, and I can tell you, without a, a shadow of a doubt, Milton is uh, is on the spot about providing that service. You know, I can call Milton up, Milton, I've got an idea for a radio ad. Um, here's my basic idea, and then in a couple of hours, he sends me back a, 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 a test tape, you know, so, hey, take a look at this, tell me what you think. And so the customer service is tremendous, and it's, it's, I think it's the same thing for the people uh, at the swap shop, that they do get that personal connection with the community. So from a business standpoint, I think it's a, a good product and good value. From a personal standpoint, I think it's a good tool for the for a good uh, benefit for the community. And you know, we if if that, if I didn't believe in it, I wouldn't sponsor it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tell us, uh, tell us about a little bit about. Uh, you've got going on and, and uh, right now 
Which way is it? Is it a good time to buy or sell property or real estate? I think it's both. Um, we've actually had a, a trend of increasing business since September, October. And last month we had a record month for United Country. So we're really excited about that. Um, we always need good quality listings though. And this month in June, I am running a listing special. So Tell me about that. Swap shop collars. Call me uh, if you've got anything to buy or sell, land, farm, house, just whatever, and we'll talk about the listings special. Um, I'm glad Cindy's back. We've missed her. We um, have gotten so busy and we need her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Now, uh, tell us about being, I don't know, Robert or Madeline, whichever one wants to take a run with it here, or both of you can both uh, comment on it. Tell us the advantages of being with a national company like United Country. Who wants to take that? You want to take that or you want me to take that? Me? Well, United Country, one, is, is a national franchise. Can you use this microphone? Yeah. Okay. It's a national franchise. It's been around since 1925. So the, the benefit of being with a national franchise is simple. National marketing, local expertise is what, what they try and combine. Okay. They give us a tremendous amount of tools to work with uh, from our internet, to the ability to market our properties locally, regionally, nationally, and now internationally. Mm -hmm. So we can take a, a, a small farm in, in Cherryville, North Carolina, and promote it all over the world. Who is a seller has the benefit of having a local person who knows the market, uh, who is personally connected to the area, has a personal connection so they can pick up the phone and call us when they need to. We can come out to the property when they need us to. We can get through the, the internet, uh, through our marketing magazines. We, we do enough print advertising. We reach about 90 million readers a week. Mm -hmm. The United Country has been doing this since 1925. Yeah. And they produced the first nationally recognized real estate catalog in 1928. And it's still in continuous publication today. And you can pick it up at our office. You can call the home office and get a copy. So being a part of the United Country gives us the benefit of serving our clients better for the most part. Um, and they give us a 
us a, a entire box of tools that we can use to do one thing to promote their properties. And the United Country has the only national marketing campaign of any other national franchise in the country because we spend our marketing dollars promoting the listings, not just our company. So, um, Sandy, I know you've probably seen those United Country signs. I know there's one between here and uh, Shelby with Madeline's name on it. Uh, so the United Country signs are out yeah. there, and, and they, uh, they're, you folks, you, you, how do you go about it? If people come to you, how do you find these, these great listings you, you get? Well, it's a common combination of things. First, we have a, a, a local market knowledge. You know, my family has been in the real estate and auction business since 1968. Madeline has been in the business for over almost 17 years now. Mm -hmm. Her mother was in the real estate business. People know us by years of experience. The other part of that is what comes from the United Country. When you advertise to 90 million people a week in print advertising, you have a couple of million people come to your website, unitedcountry.com, every month. When they come to the website and they see properties, they can inquire about properties. Mm -hmm. And they have the ability to log on to their website and to inquire about the property. And those leads, those opportunities to come to us through our cell phone with the technology that we have now. Uh, the other way that they come to us is through our call center. Mm -hmm. We have a national call center that's staffed six and a half days a week. Mm -hmm. So people can physically call in and speak to a person in Kansas City where our home office is. And they say, I want to know about this property. That's great. They take their information and they send it to us. So that's the, probably the two main ways that they see that. And then they see our, our listings. We can see the signs that Madeline put out, or I put out, or Sue put out. They see those signs, they call up about them. And we have the opportunity to interact. Mm -hmm. And we have the ability to just sit down and just have a conversation about people on how basically we can help them. So those are some main, main areas of how people contact us. I want to ask Madeline, um, say it's say it's 20, 25 years ago and there's no internet. There's there, there's not all these electronic uh, uh, no internet. There's no, no internet. <laughs> Robbie just about passed out. Uh, <laughs> so now you can reach people have you put people from other parts of the country in homes or in 
touch with properties here that you couldn't have done without the technology we have now. Certainly we have. Um, actually, my first sale with United Country was a um, couple from Ohio. They came in on a Christmas weekend, and I happened to have the phones. I was the newbie, so I got the phones for Christmas. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I called in, um, and I showed them a property, and they ended up buying it. So, yeah, we have a lot of people coming from Ohio, Pennsylvania, the northern states coming here. North Carolina is great weather. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some people from Florida who went down and thought that was great. And you know what? It's too hot down there. <laughs> they missed so a little coming back. cool weather every now and then. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's not like it was 20 years ago when we had to carry a big, thick MLS book. Now we do. Just have our telephones, and we pop the number in, and we can see the listing yeah, immediately. Yeah, kind of like the kind of like the radio business, in it? Uh, yes, it's right. Yeah. Well, on the internet, uh, when you go to your website, you just kind of put in a a zip code where you are, are looking for a, a particular property and it, and it pops up or how does that work for you? Well, that's a unique differentiator about United Country. We have the only website that allows you to search by property type. So oh. people that are in, in New York or Florida, they don't have to know where charitable in North Carolina is. Uh -huh. They don't have to know where Lincoln or Denver or, or Shelby is. They, they can go in there into the United Country and, and they can search for
so there's a lot of other competitors that have websites that you have to put in a lot of material, a lot of details. We eliminate all that. You tell us what you're looking for, and we'll find the area that you need to be in. That's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's a big part of the, the uh, advantages of the uh, technology and the search engines they have. Yeah. Uh, you were talking about your family history in in this business, Madeline. You you have an interesting story how you you got started. I think Robert mentioned your mom, and uh, and you just sort of I don't know how to ex uh, express it. You you walked into this sort of uh, out of the blue. Well, my mom got sick. And she had pancreatic cancer. So I went and took the real estate class. And I helped her until she passed away. And then I kept her company open for a year. And that, it was in my blood. Mm -hmm. It just was in my blood. Yeah. What did you do before? Did you uh, do anything other, any other type of work before real estate? I did some fire and rescue, uh, fundraising, things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, all right. And Robert, of course, uh, your dad. Dad, uh, the late uh, uh, Jimmy Gates, uh, Craig. Craig Gates, I'm sorry. Gene cousin, I'm sorry. Uh, Craig Gates. I, I knew Gene wasn't right, but I said it anyway. Um, your dad, uh, real estate. Business auction business mm -hmm. promotions business for years and years and you grew up around it, right? Yeah, I grew up around it. When I was ten, eleven, twelve years old, I was on the sides of ditches throwing out throwing out straw on fertilizer and seed, and and I knew one thing I didn't. Okay, I'll go to all 
auctions go. And son of a gun, I got fired two weeks later. <laughs> you know, I mean, you, know, you haven't done anything in life unless you've been fired from a radio station at least five times. Oh, yeah. And uh, the so, uh, here today, gone later today. Exactly. Exactly. So I don't know what was worse, getting getting fired or or telling my daddy that I was a good auctioneer in school. Yeah. But, but it was it was literally the, the best thing I ever done. The best thing he ever did for me. So I did that in '91, and then I went and got my real estate broker's license in '96. And uh, tried uh, tried some other areas of interest with some other folks and uh, in the in the area and um, come back home and knew that's where I, I needed to be. My dad passed away in two thousand three, and um, we just kind of took off with with the company and went our own way and. In 2007, Sydney and I bought the United Country franchise. Yeah. And, uh, I'll tell you something else. Doug Mays did a, a radio spot for me uh-huh. talking about that. Doug. And, you know, you remember the day that we were in the studio. Yes. And he came in there. And he pretty much, he wrote the copy. Mm-hmm. I said, Doug, these are some areas that are important to me. He wrote the copy, and we come in there, and I recorded the video. He did that in one take. That's right. We never did any other take. He did one take, and by the time he was done, I was, I was, tears was in my eyes because he hit it right on, right on the head. Doug was, it was an absolute pro. And um, so that pretty much sums up, you know, our history being in the family, in the family business. And pretty much that's what I'm supposed to, it's just, just exactly what Madeline said. It's, it's in your blood. It's got to be in your blood to, to go out here and, and work on the commission and, and work by the fruits of your labor and, uh, and provide the service and, and, and the sacrifice that you do to make sure that the people get what, what they want. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's talk about the auction business a little bit there. Um, Folks who have property or uh, real estate, um, a whole house full or a basement full, whatever the case may be, uh, it's time to sell. You're settling a family estate, that sort of thing. Auctions are, as as the Doug Mays commercial said, the best way to sell is the auction way. Right. Doug puts it. Right. It's it's really the, there's no stigma attached to having an auction anymore. I mean, no, you know, years ago. There was Milton because people said, well, you know, it must be a fire sale. It must be a distress sale. But, but if you if you look across the country and around the world, the very best items are sold at auction. Mm-hmm. I mean, when they sold Princess Diana's dresses, they didn't sell them, you know, in a department store. 
they sold them at auction. Right. Auction brings out the very best value in the current day's market. So whether it's personal property, whether it's real estate, antiques, collectibles, equipment, whatever, the auction process brings that property to a different spotlight and to a different market of buyers that probably would not have known about that to begin with. Mm -hmm. If someone doesn't give me the opportunity to take their property and advertise it locally and regionally and nationally and use the tools that we have, then there's a whole segment of buyers out there that don't know about it. But the auction method of marketing is probably one of the most transparent, um, fully functional buying and selling apparatuses that there is. Because everyone knows the terms and conditions up front. It's, everything is explained to them. There's nothing done behind the scenes. It, most auctions are done by public outcry. You've got an auctioneer that sits there and, and cries the bid. And it gives everyone an equal chance to go out there and bid for what they want. Now, a big turn in auctions is online auctions now. Mm -hmm. That is a, a major part of the market that is moving to online auctions, where now, instead of someone that might be interested in a farm here in, in Charitable, and we advertise, well, now the buyers can be on site or they can be in their, um, in their office in Florida or New York. And they can bid on the property. They still have access to the same information. They have access to the same inspection opportunities. Everybody has it, has the same opportunities, and they can sit there and click on, on a button mm -hmm. on a computer and bid on that, that property. And they still have to adhere to the same terms and conditions. But now we, we can take a property that may seem small in an area and expose it to a, a multitude of buyers in a totally different market. Yeah. Okay. Another thing I sort of brought up been asking you that question and settling or dispersing the estates. You work you work with folks in that area too. Absolutely. One one of the big areas that we do is the state auctions. And we get calls from executors and executrixes that say, hey, you know, I've got my mom or dad's estate, and I've got all of this stuff, and I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Or I've been working with it for a year, and I'm just overwhelmed. Will you come take a look at it? We come out and simply have a conversation. We take as much time as someone needs. Now, I've been doing this for 22 years. So the, the questions that they're going to ask, I've probably already heard. Mm -hmm. But it's important to them to get these questions 
questions answered for their satisfaction. Because sometimes there's a single person who's in charge of the estate, but sometimes there's a co-executor, mm -hmm. uh, or they may have siblings. Mm -hmm. They may be able to make the decision, but they have brothers or sisters that they respect and they want their input too. So we go in and we help them to uh, take care of the estate. So pretty much if someone calls us, we go out and take a look at the estate, we evaluate it, and we don't take every auction and not every estate is is um, needs an auction. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the auction is an auction that doesn't need to be uh, used. Mm -hmm. So we don't try and talk someone into an auction or out of it. We try and evaluate the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, if someone has a, a piece of property and it's vacant, uh, a lot of people don't know that insurance companies don't like vacant homes sitting in there. And sometimes mm -hmm. they won't write insurance on vacant homes. Sure. Uh, that's, we run into that a lot. Someone has, has, has left the home and it's there vacant and dormant. Okay? Uh, we come in and evaluate the real estate, evaluate the personal property and say, look, your best option is Let's go and let's list this with Madeline and let her broker your property first. Mm -hmm. well, that's where we think you can get the best return for your property. Mm -hmm. Or in your situation, yes, let's take it at the auction. This will liquidate your assets quickly. It will generate you cash quickly. And you can be done, and you can be, you can walk away from it and get on with your life. Okay. Is anything you'd like to uh, Robert, when you uh, are called upon to do an auction for a particular family, uh, and you may have just answered this question, but I was wondering, what do you determine? I mean, when you look at this property, yes, I'll do it, or no, this may should go another way. Uh, is that a hard decision to make? For the family, I mean, even though they may not have a whole lot to to give, but yet they want mom, dad's things done properly. Right. How, how do you right. go about handling that? Right. We go in and take a look at whether. We're going to be selling personal property or real estate mm -hmm. or both. Mm -hmm. Okay. We look at the quality and the condition of the personal property. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times when we go into an estate setting, the family has already taken the very best pieces of furniture right. or the heirlooms or, or the collectibles. Mm -hmm. And when we go in and say, look, you've gotten what you want. There's not enough left here to justify the advertisement. 
advertising cost, a commission cost to advertise your personal property. So let's set that, that to the side. Let's look at the real estate. Okay, on the real estate, is there any debt owed on the property? Yeah. Okay, if there's no debt owed on the property, then it can be sold and you don't have to worry about servicing a debt for a mortgage mm -hmm. or a second mortgage or lien or what have you. So when you evaluate the, the real estate, you, you can look at it from that point of view of basically of debt and condition area. And you look at it overall saying, oh, does this make sense for an auction? Can I bring a crowd of interested buyers to buy your real estate or your personal property. And with the internet today, there's a lot of competition for auctions. Mm -hmm. And most auctions are held on Saturdays around here. Most estate auctions are on Saturdays. That's traditionally the best time for the most buyers to come out. So when you have competition now, Milton, like you do the ball games, mm -hmm. we've got the, the Legion ball games. They're on Saturdays. Yard sales are on Saturdays. Car races are on Saturdays. Uh, all, all these different things are happening on Saturdays and Sundays that take people's time. But it not only takes their time, but it takes their money too. They pay. So do we have a good enough auction, a good enough quality, and good enough condition of personal property to draw people to your yard on Saturday morning at 10 o'clock and spend their money on your belongings. I mean, it's, it's a real eye-opening conversation. And when I, when I walk in, I walk in as an independent third-party opinion to say, I'm not a member of the family. I don't have any uh, relationship to the estate. I'm the person that's going to evaluate it independently and give you that voice to reason that you probably don't have because there's a lot of emotion built up in an in estate uh, sale. Uh, you know, a family member may have just passed away recently. Uh, there may be, may be some conflict in the family, and there may be some um, different opinions of how things should go in in, in the, the dissolution of the of the estate. So I come in and I'm able to, to say. This is, is your best option. Whether it's Brookbridge, hey, hey, you've got good personal property here, but there's not enough for an auction. You need to, to have someone come in and buy the entire estate. Uh, I work with some, with some very good auctioneers. And, and some of those, I'll say, hey, look, call, call Rick Richard and, and say, and give you a price on buying the entire estate. Mm -hmm. So we give an independent third party opinion on what's the best for the estate because I, I don't work for the uh, executor or the 
siblings, I work for the estate. So mm -hmm. I truly look at how can I best benefit the estate and what's in their best interest. Uh, question from Madeline. Uh, properties right now, I don't know, uh, we're, we're doing some advertising for you. And uh, one of the properties we've been talking about a lot is Klein Farm. Yes. You want to mention anything about the, the, the Klein Farm uh, properties? Yes. It's a unique subdivision in Lincoln County, western Lincoln County. Um, got about 40 lots out there. Actually, we're closing on one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, the, they have a community clubhouse, a swimming pool, um, walking trails, a lot of amenities for the homeowners. So, certainly have people call me about the lots out there. All right. And uh, let's tell folks how to get in touch with uh, Madeline or uh, Robert or any of the folks there at the uh, United Country. Of course, Madeline, your number is? 704 300 49 95 and Robert how would folks get in touch with the office for you well we have our uh, toll free number at the office is 866 735 1977 mm -hmm. and my cell phone is 704 472 
they say six ninety five on the on the magazine. They, they are free of charge. Okay. Sandy, I'm going to turn it back over to you while I make my way back to the store to uh, uh, wrap things up. But you go ahead and uh, wrap it up in here uh, with our, our guest today I'm from the United to, Country. We are so pleased that you're here today. I, I've learned things. That, that I didn't know. Uh, one of these days, I may be calling you. <laughs> so, I mean, one of these long days away. <laughs> but but uh, we, we are so pleased that you were able to. Sorry, you feel bad, Cindy. To get it better, but uh, any time we can do anything for you, and again, we enjoy the swap shop and uh, come and uh, call us any time and come in. We'll do this again. Great, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah.